Hey everyone, Chris Kane here. You know, we are all on a journey of going to the other side right now in the middle of this coronavirus epidemic. Uh, many of us are hoping, can I get through to the other side? And I'm here to tell you, we are going to get through. The issue is not, are we going to get through? It's going to be, who are we going to be when we get to the other side? And so what we have to understand is, well, we feel often, many of us right now, feel like we're stuck somewhere in the middle. We're not where we used to be, and there is no going back to normal. There is no such thing as normal anymore, and we're not yet into our new normal. Many of us are at different phases of our lockdown or our shutdown. Some counties, some cities, some states are open up and people are going out, and yet other states and other nations around the world are still in pretty tight lockdown. And so we really don't know how long our middle is going to last, but we do know that God is working in the midst of our middle. And I don't want to just get to the other side and be the same person that I was when I came in. I want to be a different person on the other side. Now we have to understand how does God take us to the other side? Because he always takes us to the other side. Remember when the children of Israel came out of Egypt? I mean, God did signs and wonders and miracles. He parted the Red Sea. It was absolutely spectacular. He had promised the children of Israel that they were going into Canaan. They were going into a land full of milk and honey. And many of us, that's how we feel. On the other side of this, there is a promised land. There are promises that God has for us. There is provision that God has for us. And oftentimes we think God's just going to transport us out of Egypt and straight into Canaan. But that's not how God does it. God often takes his time when we want him to rush through the process, but there's always a process. And in the process, that's where God is preparing you for the very thing that he has prepared for you. That is where God is building our muscle. God is building our resilience. God is building our strength so that we are prepared to carry what it is that he's got for us on the other side. Now, in the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 17, the Bible says, when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by the way of the land of the Philistines, although that was shorter. I, I want you to catch this. It says that when God brought them out, he didn't lead them via the short way. In fact, the scripture says God knew there was a shorter way. Isn't it not frustrating when you know that God knows that there's a shortcut and you're like, God, really? We're going to take this long? It's going to take this long for my marriage to be restored? It's going to take this long for my kids to come through? It's going to take this long for this thing to happen or that opportunity to happen? The Bible says God didn't take them the other way, though it was shorter. He could have taken them up the coast when they came out of Egypt and straight into Canaan. But that way was dangerous. That's what the children of Israel did not realize. The Bible says that God took them the long way round. God was actually protecting them. He was protecting them from their enemies. You might feel in the midst of this epidemic that God, this is taking so long. Why are other countries opened up? Why are other counties opened up? And sometimes we don't even realize what God is protecting us from. Some of you are believing God and you've been waiting. You've been waiting for a relationship. You've been waiting for your kids to come back from the Lord. You've been waiting for another opportunity to open up when it comes to to a job or when it comes to a promotion and you're going, God, this is taking so long. I just want to remind you today that God takes us the long way round because that's where he develops the strength. That's where he develops the resilience. That's where he develops the tenacity. That's when he equips us for the thing that he has prepared already for us. And many times when you think that God is just taking a long time, you don't know what God is protecting you from. You don't know who God is protecting you from. And sometimes that means even ourselves. God is protecting us from ourselves because change has to happen in us. That's what had to happen to the children of Israel. They came out of Egypt, but God had to get Egypt out of them. They still thought like slaves. They still acted like slaves. They were not warriors yet. They were not men and women of war yet because they had been operating as slaves for over 430 years. And so had they gone the short route, they would have been taken out by their enemies or they would have been so crippled and paralyzed by fear, they would have wanted to go back. Sometimes God is protecting us from ourselves and we don't even realize it. I just want to remind you today, if you feel like God's taking you the long way around, it doesn't mean you're not in the will of God. It means you're smack bang 
in the will of God. And God has got you. God sees you. God has not forgotten you. God has not forsaken you. He's just taken you the long way around. The Bible also tells us in the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 30. I love this. And the Bible says right here, little by little, I will drive them out from before you until you have increased and possessed the land. He said, this is how I'm going to give you the land. I'm not giving it to you all at once. I'm giving it to you little by little. You know, in a generation that just wants it all, we just want it all now. I mean, we're scrolling through Instagram and we see our friends got it all, so why can't I have it all? Or we look at where people end up after 20 and 30 years of either working or ministry or married life, and we're like, I want that right now. But the Lord says, I'm giving it to you little by little. I'm building your strength little by little. As you're faithful in this little, I'm going to give you the next part. A lot of us, we despise the small place we're in now because we want the end result. But God says, you know what? As you're going to the other side, it doesn't come all at once. Sometimes I'm going to take you the long way around and I'm going to give it to you little by little. You know, my daughters, I don't give them everything all at once. You give them things at age appropriate stages. As we mature in the Lord, as we grow in the Lord, God gives us things little by little. Some of us are incredibly frustrated in this time of containment and constraint because we think, God, you should give it all. And he says, have you looked at today's mercy? Have you looked at today's grace? I'm giving it to you little by little. If you start saying thank you, thank you for the grace today. Thank you for the mercy today. Thank you for the provision today. Thank you, God, that I'm alive today. Thank you, God, that I've got provision today. What we need to do is start to appreciate the little by little. God gave it to them for them. God gave it to them little by little. In a generation that is obsessed with a lot right now, God says, I'll give you little by little. I wonder where maybe you have forgotten to see the hand of God at work in your life because you've been looking for it all when God says, here's a little. A little boy gave five loaves and two fish and a lot was done with five loaves and two fish, but until you appreciate the little, you're never going to do a lot with a lot. And in Psalm 37, 23, I love this. The Bible says the steps of a man are established by the Lord. The steps of a righteous person are established by the Lord. The Lord moves in steps. What do you do during this time when we don't know what's happening in the future, when we're wondering how we're going to get to the other side? Just take the next right step. There is no elevator to the top. We don't get translated into our future. We take it one step at a time. The steps of a righteous person are ordered by the Lord. So I'm here today to tell you, just do the next right thing. Take the next right step. You don't have to see the whole staircase in order to step into the future that God has for you. Just take the next step. And then the step after after that and the step after that and before you know it you'll be on the other side how does God take us to the other side church he takes us often the long way round. although he knows there's a shorter way and it's sometimes just not our business to know why God didn't take the shortcut but he's going to lead us the long way round. he's going to give it to us little by little and it's going to come step by step we get to the other side the long way round, little by little step by step so today Take the next step.